Hey there, this is Michael and welcome to Quick Hacks. Today we're going to show you how to get a file from your local machine over to a remote machine that you have command line access to. Uh, this is a good solution for when you may have gotten access to a machine through something like remote code execution where you don't necessarily have SSH access where you'd be able to use that for something like SCP where you could transfer the file through SSH. So um, assuming you got command line access to a remote machine and you have a file on your local machine you want to get over there, I like to use Python 3 and wget to facilitate that. So over on my local machine here you'll see that I have a folder I've created called web server. This is a place where I like to store scripts or exploits or anything that I may want to move over to a remote machine if I get access to it. Right now there's nothing in here, but I do have a dummy file called supersecretexploit.exe that I have created, um, which is sort of comical because the machine that we have access to is Linux, but we're just going to leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> so I have access to my remote machine over here, and um, over here you'll see that I have a browser open for localhost port 8080. There's nothing on there right now. So the reason I have that open is when I run this command, python3 -m -htp server, this is going to spawn a web server within this folder that I'm currently in. So it will, it will serve up any of the files that I have within this folder, namely right now just this super secret exploit.exe. If you were to run this by itself just like this, it would default to port 8000. I prefer 8080, so you can specify a port here. So I'm going to specify port 8080, and I'm going to let that run. And it says it's now serving HTTP on port 8080. So if I go to my local host port 8080 now, you'll see supersecretexploit.exe is there waiting for me. And you'll also see the web request in the Python log here. So what I want to do is I want to get this file over to this re this remote machine. So this is my IP address on the network here since I'm connected through VPN to this box on Try Hack Me. So I'm going to use wget, which is going to allow me to request a file from a remote server, a web server in particular. So we're going to do this. I'm going to put my IP in there, specify port 8080, and then I have to name the file I want to get. So in this case, it's going to be supersecretexploit.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And that is peculiar. That must be something weird going on with this box. I don't know what that is. Uh, that is abnormal. Uh, I think this machine is just uh, a little bit wonky. So the request did go through. It looks like it downloaded it. I can even see the request here on my logs from the Python HTTP server. And if I do LL here, <clears throat> you're going to see that super secret exploit is now on my remote machine. And that's all I had to do to pull that over here. If I wanted to now, I could make this executable and, uh, and then I could run it. Now this doesn't actually have anything in it, so it's going to be pretty useless. But uh, if it did, I would be a boss for having hacked the system. So. There you have it. That is a quick and easy way to use Python 3 on your local machine and wget on the remote machine to get files from your local machine to a remote machine.